get here? Applejack, is all the food here? You bet, Sugar Cube. I've got cake and cookies, and shrimp and bread, lots and lots of fish, and drinks taken care of. Awesome, Applejack! It all looks amazing! Rarity, have you taken care of all the decorations? Yes, darling, I've just put the finishing touches on. Thanks, Rarity! They all look super pretty! And Fluttershy, did you get all the animals here? Well, I'm pretty sure they're all here. I did count them all. There's Bubbles, Snipsy, Little Rosie, Coral, Pearl, Flipper, Aquamarine, and of course Sleepy right here. Aw, they're all so cute! And Twilight, did you pick out some music? Yep, I just need to turn it on. That sounds so awesome! And of course, last but not least, Rainbow Dash, did you send out all the invitations? They should be here any second. Hello, everypony. I hope we're not too early. Nope. Nope. You're just in time. Welcome, everypony. Hello. Yay. Now everypony's here. But it looks like we're missing just one pony. Crystal Pearl? Crystal Pearl? Where are you? I don't think any pony's seen her anywhere. Oh no! I better go look for her. Crystal Pearl, are you there? Crystal Pearl? Crystal Pearl, you in there? Oh no, I can't find her anywhere. I have to check up on land. It's the only place left. There you are! Crystal Pearl, what are you doing up here? Uh... She was just having tea with me. But Crystal Pearl, you accepted the invitation to the party! Don't you know how rude it is to accept the invitation and not show up? Oh, we... Well, Crystal Pearl, you're missing out! We're having an awesome party! Can I still come? Of course! Come on, let's just dive right down! Woo! Hey! Pinkie Pie, wait! Why didn't I get invited? Hello, everypony, it's Cleo here, and today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the very last of the baby sea ponies. And this time it's another pink one! I can't see her name here very easily because the pamphlet is covering it, but it looks like it's Crystal Pearl, which is a very pretty name. There is the most adorable little picture of her in the corner here, where she appears to have some kind of facial markings that the toy definitely doesn't have, but oh well. Of course, she's from the My Little Pony the Movie line. And on the back there is just the sweetest little picture of her, look at that. It's so adorable. I love the background, as I say every time, the background looks beautiful, and the little sea pony just looks like the cutest thing in the universe. There are more sea ponies along the top, and of course there's that standard sticker of authenticity over here, which is also a hologram. So unless they release any more baby sea ponies, for the last time, let's open one. Every single time. There wasn't one that didn't do that. little set out of the packaging, but before we take a closer look at it, let's take a little look at the pamphlet. I'm mostly just checking this to see what I'm still missing from the Mild Pony the Movie line. Okay, over here we can see all the baby sea ponies, and yes, I in fact have every single one of them now, so that's fantastic. I didn't think I was going to be able to get all of them, but I have. Here's all the pearly sea ponies, and I have in fact got all of those as well. I haven't got any of the transforming ponies though, I didn't really start collecting those and I don't think I will now. Some more sea ponies, the only one I have of all of these over here is that Sky Star. Still would like to have a little version of her though, to match the smaller collection I have. And on the back here you can see the castle, of course you can see I have that, it's in the background here. Here are some other ponies, I'm not really bothered about collecting most of these, but I really would like to find Big Mac, I haven't seen him anywhere so I'm still tracking him down. Okay, let's take a look at the little starfish first. Very soft and pretty apricot colour, and of course, like all of them, 
has a little suction cup on the back so it should stick to flat surfaces and even my hand. There you go, you can stick it to your mirror or a window somewhere, it's quite pretty. And of course now that I have all of the starfish, I can make a starfish rainbow, that is so satisfying. My god, I love making rainbows. The set also includes this absolutely adorable little whale friend, it's so cute this one. It's just got the prettiest little eyes, a sweet little smile on its face, and it's a really pretty kind of grey-blue colour, which seems appropriate for a whale. Unfortunately, it has got a little scuff on its eye there, but it's not terribly noticeable, so I'll get over it. It's so cute, and of course, because I have all eight sea ponies, I have all eight of the pets too, so let's see them all together. And here's all eight of them together, aren't they all so cute? I just love the variety of all of them. I think my favourite is either the whale or this little seahorse friend, but which one's your favourite? Let me know in the comments. And then of course we have the beautiful shell, which is kind of a greeny teal colour at the top here. And then there's a purple gradient going up it. Look at that, it's so pretty, unusual colour combination as well. I love the spiral shape of it as well, it goes round and round and round. It's very pretty and looks very much like a real shell with that. Kind of like a hermit crab. Of course, like all of them, it has a little suction cup on the back so it can stick to a flat surface or hopefully is able to. And it does. It's not so well to hand because my hand isn't totally flat. And it's also a little bit squishy so it doesn't just break. Last but not least, let's take a look at the beautiful crystal pearl. Let's give her a little twirl. She's just the prettiest candy pink colour. And then she has minty green fins. It here goes to a spiked up fin do, as I'm calling them, up at the top there, which looks very cool. She has little fins for ears. A little fin down her back here. The prettiest little tail fin, which comes off to three separate points. And even curls in in the middle there to make it look more realistic. And then she's also got little fins instead of hooves, which unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it on camera, has got a little misprint there with the paint. They've painted on where there shouldn't be any paint, and I don't know if I can get that off or not. It's a little bit unfortunate. Of course, what's really good about this particular sea pony is that she can stand on her own without flopping over, which is really good. Her head is poseable on a ball joint, which means it can go up and down, little nod. Side to side to shake her head. She can look up and go back all the way around. And you can put her in all kinds of different swimming poses, which looks really cute. Her eyes are a really pretty violet colour. And like all the baby sea ponies has a particular fault, well, not a fault, it's kind of a design problem in my opinion. That she's looking behind her with both eyes. Bit of a pity, I think it would look so much better if she was looking forward, like the picture on the packaging. But oh well, it looks okay from the side. The tail fin is nice and flexible, so you can't just snap it off. And unfortunately, she does have these rather not so pretty codes on the back of her head, which I wish weren't there really. They kind of mess up the design, why should any little pony have a number on the back of its head? So at long last, here are all the baby sea ponies together. It's so cute. I love all those pastel colours. Of course, anybody who's watched my reviews will know that I don't think they're perfect. However, I do think they're a very, very adorable addition to my collection. I'm glad to have all of them to complete the set. I think my very favourite would be this one, and I can't for the life of me remember his name. In fact, I can only remember a few of their names. I, I'm really struggling here. It's not like me, because I can remember almost every pony's name in my collection. But these guys I'm really struggling with. Okay, I'm going to play a little game here. I'm going to see how many I can get right, and I'll check it later. And I'll say on screen if I'm correct or incorrect. Okay, I think this one's called Sun Twist. Um, sea Poppy, uh, Crystal Pearl, uh, I've really can't remember with this one, I have no idea. Ocean Gem, I, I don't know. Uh, don't know. And this one, it's on the tip of my tongue. Jelly Bee, I think it is? Jelly Bee, I think I'm right with that one, so it'll say on screen right now if I'm correct or incorrect with each of these. If you can remember the names of all of these, let me know in the comments which one is your favourite. Oh, and last but not least, I almost forgot, here are all of their little shells together. And my favourite of these has to be this shell because of how shiny the metallic finish is, that's really pretty. So there's one last thing to do now, I've got to put the pony in the shell. 
which in this case does fit rather nicely, she doesn't wobble around in there. And then I've got to put it against a flat surface to see if it stays up without falling down. Okay, here I have some clear plastic from the Sea Pony Rainbow Dash, and we're going to stick it on there. And it doesn't fall off! Hooray! It works! And the colours look really nice together, that looks so pretty! So that's it for all the Baby Sea Pony reviews, I hope you enjoyed them all. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like, and subscribe for lots of fun new videos every week. Thanks for watching!